My name is Akari Muisani. I'm a Dell Technologies Account Executive. The purpose of, of this program is to introduce youth into different opportunities within a city. And so what we want to do today is expose you all to not only uh, esports, but also careers in esports, and then also opportunities uh, within higher education. I'm just curious if y'all have any advice for the students over at M3 uh, who might be looking to get involved in esports uh, when they're in college. And Hibba, we'll start with you this time. All I would have to say is probably just being courageous and just sort of taking that leap, being confident, like there is a space for you here and people are so welcoming and kind, so. Just do it. If you think uh, you want to do something, don't be like, hmm, those people are gonna think this about me. It's better to do something than don't you don't do it and then you regret it in the future. I think the one big piece of advice that I would give is to uh, not get discouraged after your first like one or two interactions with the esports community. But you have to realize that not only is there avenues for improvement in the games itself, especially in our community, we have a lot of people that are willing to help you get better at the games that you want to, you know, compete in. But there's also so many other like different ways you can be involved with esports. Like you can help with uh, organizing events. You could help with uh, commentating, shoutcasting. Just find us. Our locations readily available. We'll be there. We'll wait for you. Just say hi. Come in and say hi. Come in and play a game. Play a game of league if you have time. I've been in the esports specifically, you know, for over 10 years now before it was called esports because I have fun playing video games and it, it inspired me to call my company I Play Games. If you get into something purely because you think that financially you'll have gains for it, the first time you hit a bump in the road, you won't want to do it anymore. But when you find something that you're passionate about, being passionate takes you past the mistakes. Having fun in these things really is step number one. Being determined to professionalize what it is that you do is step number two. And then presenting yourself as a company that does these things excellingly well, showing what it is that you're passionate about and good at is three.